Hey, it's Melody. Welcome to A Saner Spin, episode 19 this week. Um, this week I'm going to answer some questions or just respond to, I, I get a lot of questions about electroconvulsive therapy or ECT, formerly known as electroshock therapy, basically running a current through the brain to induce a seizure, um, something that has been shown in many studies to pull people out of severe depression, um, sometimes out of catatonia. Uh, and bipolar depression, unipolar depression, it's ser I've heard of it, other people telling me about their experiences of it working wonders uh, for them with respect to depression. I've also uh, witnessed it in people, um, literally being able to pull people out of catatonia. So it can be very effective. There's a lot of stigma associated with it electroshock in particular, right? The idea of shocking your brain. I honestly, I just wish people would be as concerned about putting a medication in your body every day that can have so many different side effects, similar side effects, um, as they are with electroconvulsive therapy. But literally, electroconvulsive therapy being more shocking, um, shocks people. But it's done under general anesthesia. It's done very differently than it used to be done. Um, and when people have good experiences with it, you rarely hear from them. Um, I will, I'm going to link to a talk down here, and it w it's by Sherwin Newland, the surgeon, author, amazing human, uh, who actually had a good experience with ECT before it was even uh, the way it is now, which is much lower electricity, much, much lower current um, in terms of the doses, and uh, often uh, it, it used to be done more bilaterally than unilaterally, although sometimes they still do it bilaterally. Um, and in different countries, it's different how they do it. But uh, the point is, it's something worth looking into if you're dealing with uh, treatment-resistant depression and uh, depression in general. Um, and with all kinds of medications, be concerned. With all kinds of interventions, be concerned. Do your homework. It's surprising to me how many people are willing to just throw medications into their bodies day after day for years and not even investigate what is in it. Um, granted, in a lot of these cases, we don't know exactly how these medications work and a lot of it is theory um, and why they work and some of them were discovered to work on accident. Uh, so um, anyway, it, it's just something I would consider. And if you're worried about memory loss, also take into account the depression uh, severe depression for me and for a lot of people, memory is affected with depression. Memory is also severely affected with suicide, right? Um, and if that is what you're com comparing and those are your options, uh, particularly when people are dealing with uh, psychotic depression or catatonic depression, uh, it's really worth considering and not being so shocked by it immediately. Uh, that you're scared away from it because it has helped a lot of people who wouldn't talk about it. So I really encourage you to listen to Sherwin Newland's talk. Um, I normally don't link to talks, but this is really worth listening to. So do that, and I will come back next week, hopefully, and see you. Take care. Until then, bye.